there are two circles with different radius of x and y length. There are also two arcs of equal length, one each in the circle that form angles of 78 degree and 121 degree at center. Find x is to y. So what I know is that there are two circles of different sizes. Let's call the radius of first one as R1 and radius of second is R2. What we know here is that there is a particular length L which forms an angle of how much? 78 degree in the first one and 121 degree and the same length forms an angle of 121 degree in second. It is given that this is equal to x, this is equal to y. You have to find x is to y. Okay. Now in any circle, whatever we saw earlier, we know that the angle here is 78 degree. So theta is equal to 78 degree is equal to 78 into pi upon 180 degree 13 30 13 pi upon 30 let's call this as circle 1 for circle 2 theta is equal to 121 degree okay. I don't think these kind of just cancel together okay or let me see 121 into 22 upon 7 into 180 so this will give you 11 this gives you 90 70 51 no it doesn't go so so better to keep it like this only 121 pi upon 180 it doesn't solve the equation so let's keep the same value over here now you know that the length is equal to what? It is equal to r1 theta or x theta in first case and r2 theta or y theta is what? Into 121 pi by 180 in the second case. Now because this length is equal for both the sim how do you know this? You know that because the length is equal. So R1 Q theta has to be equal to R2 theta or x into theta for this was 13 pi by 30 is equal to y into 121 into pi upon 180. Shall we solve this? This will go into this. 30 will go into 180 six times right how about this I don't think it cancels or now if you solve the equation you multiply this by this so you get x into 13 into 6 is equal to 121y or x upon y because you need to find out the ratio of x is to y so x upon y is equal to 121 upon 78
So that's the ratio that you were looking for. Okay.